Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to be showcasing a new comp. Everyone here has been playing ladder, and I'm pretty sure all of you guys have been struggling because me, myself, I've been struggling as well. Because axes are so cheap right now, you can constantly run into a variety of comps. Or one game, you're going to be facing Reptile, so then you're going to queue up an Immortal plan. And then the next game, you're going to be facing a Mech in the back line, so then you lose to that as well. And with all this variety, my number one tip I want to show you guys is, although there's always going to be variety, there's always going to be two or three comps that are more prevalent than others. So I was playing ladder initially today with a very strong comp like you guys see me play lunge you guys see me play aquas in the back spike giving aquas which is very strong but today i've been facing so many reptiles and so many lunges okay so i started playing around here reptile 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 three reptiles in a row lunge 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 so what i decided to do was switch to bug bug and it's got me a little wind spree i already climbed from 2550 to 2700 just in the past hour and we're going to keep going until we face a different variety of comps now what makes this comp really strong is number one all these axes are slow so they get no kataro value number two if you are going to face lunge they are on dusk dusk and reptile bodies so therefore these do very very well so as as you guys can see here i've just been farming matchup advantage hey two bugs beats two dusk hey two bugs beats two plants two bugs beats two plants two bugs beats two um I mean, beats reptile, of course. So it's just important to cover cover all your ba uh, all your all your spots. <laughs> Without further ado, let's queue into a game and let's hope we run into either lunge or reptile. And this is perfect. So if you're facing lunge or reptile, you already know this is going to be a free win. What I like the most about this comp is he has spiky wing, so therefore he can go first. He has pliers to follow up with pliers damage, and he's the slowest right here. Now I do have 32 speed Kataro bugs. However, what's the point? What's the point of 32 speed Kataro bugs? Um, nothing because you want to always be going first with the pliers if I had a 32 speed Kataro bug if I ever take damage here He's gonna be going first and it just sets up very very nice draw like this comp has so much damage You can just toss out cards left and right I'm gonna be using his cards here to finish off this plant now I'm in a situation where either I want to finish him off with a faster guy and he gets no value if he plays here Or we could say hmm is he smart enough to not play here? Do we need a greed in this matchup? We do not so what we're gonna do instead is just finish him off with the faster guy Remember, we do not need to greed with this matchup, okay? Do I need a Kataro here now? So here's the thing that people don't realize about Kataro. When you use Kataro into a bunch of shield, you basically did nothing. So you might as well use it for damage the ensuing turn. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do here. Like if we Kataro here, we only we only would have done 20 damage, right? And it's not like uh, we have a bunch of cards on him, so we'd rather save it for the next turn. Ooh, still not a lot of cards. That's okay though, that's okay. I'm gonna do this. Um, the reason why it's safe to play this is they usually respect Fishnack and they'll end in an Aqua card. So you're you're straight chilling. And now it's just game over because you already know these Immortal Bugs, these Mosquito Bugs versus these Reptiles. It's just absolutely game over. I'm going to start off with a Spiky. He is going to play two cards here. He is going to Revenge Arrow Nemo or Revenge Arrow, Revenge Arrow, okay? That's perfectly fine. We're still going to play everything. And even if he doesn't play anything on the Fish, the Spiky wing gets rid of it. Because you do want to chip that Reptile. Honestly, you don't need to the game's one no matter what. I just have this fetish for making my opponents feel more pain. Okay, oh, he crit me. Oh, that's so bad, that's so bad, that's so bad, that's so bad. That's why you don't greet, because you gotta play around crits. All of a sudden, it's looking kind of winnable for him. All right, so we're okay here. Let's think about how much energy he spent. He spent three here just now, two here. I do remember three energy the first turn. So three energy the first turn. He did take a skip turn, he did play an emo turn, so let's go say four. And then he just spent five that turn, so nine energy this whole game. So he's probably on four here, on four here. Before here, they don't attack, they skip, so I should be skipping here too. And now all we do is a simple spiky mosquito mosquito every single turn. He's on six. What he should be doing here is dino dino reflect reflect and then into a four card next turn. However, at this MMR, since I haven't been grinding too much ladder, they aren't smart enough to do so. Okay, we, I could trade two energy for two energy for him all day. And this is a good trade for me because I get to chip in a little bit of damage here. I'm guessing he's gonna dino dino and um, reflect reflect. He quad reflects, huh? Well, that's all his energy. Did I just get outplayed by him? Okay, I, okay, we win regardless. Don't worry. Who quad reflects? I've never seen anyone do it, but it works. How much energy is he on? Okay, if he was on six the turn that he did that, that means he was on six the next turn. He's on four. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Max shield, max shield, max shield. I realize it's too late. Please live. Oh, we live! Let's go! What a nail biter. But no one, okay, we would not have even been in this position if we didn't greet on the mid lane. So lesson learned in we auto win matchups. If you do not greet, if you do not do anything to throw the game, you will win it, okay? 
Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the YouTube video. Make sure you guys are playing the right comps. Like for example, even though I'm facing a bunch of reflectiles in the back today, people are gonna start using mechs or bugs in the back. So I need to switch accordingly and start using aquas in the back. Uh, without further ado, I'll catch you guys next time.